Okay, so gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is energy that we can give an object in two ways, usually by lifting it up, but sometimes by pushing it against another force that will store the energy, e.g. something like a spring. So if we compress a spring, that will also uh, store potential energy. So if it's gravitational potential energy, obviously that's against gravity. So it's, an, it's the energy an object possesses because of the height we give it. So at a given height, the potential energy is equal to the work that we have had to, to give it to lift it to that height. How do we calculate gravitational potential energy, I hear you ask? Done like this. So gravitational potential energy, EP, is equal to M times G times H. M times G times H. So what does each symbol mean and what units are they in? M mass. is the mass. Units of mass are kilograms. kilograms. G, gravity, and it's what? Newtons per kilogram. 10 newtons per kilogram. And H is the height that you have lifted an object about the surface, and it's in meters. So what is the equation triangle for this? But if we have an example, if a woman lifts up her baby and the baby has a weight of 100 newtons, will the baby die from two meters? Uh, possibly. The change in gravitational potential energy is equal to the work done, is equal to the weight times the vertical height difference, 100 newtons times two meters, and that is equal to 200 joules. Remember, if you don't have your units, your answer is wrong. Uh, that's a bunch of 